Good morning, good morning. Wow, my TV is still on. Where's the remote? Hold up. Mm. Good morning, family. Today is the 13th of April, uh, 2017. It's about 9.25 in the a.m. Today is Thursday. And what's up with it? What's up? What's up with y'all? I have a lot on my mind, a lot in my head, and so we just gonna roll with it, can we? Can we just roll with a flow today, can we? Um, today, uh, we're gonna be all over the place, we're gonna be talking about a whole bunch of shit pertaining to relationships, if this ain't your thing on today, I'm gonna ask that you do it moving. You ain't got to come in here and leave no motherfucking comment. Come up in this bitch and say all kind of crazy shit and dip out. Nah, we ain't doing all that. Either you want to roll with us or you want to do it moving. Either way it go, we clowning on the day and we talking about a little bit of relationship shit. And shit that's been going on, shit that's been going on on the news and, you know, shit that's been going on in my personal life and, you know, and shit like that there. So, this is what's happening. So, uh, Cornelius, you ain't got to worry about putting nobody out. Uh, Clyde, uh, if they want to come in, tell them niggas to bring some chicken wings and hot sauce and biscuits. Come with it. Y'all come on in this motherfucker. Uh, Ethel, are we straight? We good. Everybody come on in this motherfucker. We just talking about some growing sexy relationship shit. If this ain't what you own, then you ain't got to sit in here with us. So, first, I'm going to start off with, uh, the tragedy that took place. Uh, this week here in San Bernardino, California, um, North Park Elementary School. Now, North Park Elementary School is where my three children graduated K through sixth grade. So I have a personal relationship um, with the faculty uh, and staff and with uh, North Park Elementary School. It's a magnet elementary school that started with full-time kindergarten. Back um, when Anthony started um, kindergarten, ooh, 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 I don't even know what year it was. He was born in 96. But whatever year it was, um, that was his school that he went through on their magnet all-day kindergarten program. And see, I think North Park and maybe uh, Via Verde and I think one or two, no, one more, had an all-day kindergarten class. Um, the rest of them was going from like 8.15 to 11.15, and you had to come pick them up, and they had a first session or a second session. But North Park, along with Via Verde, and it was another one that had all-day kindergarten, but you had to go through like a lottery system. The kids had to be tested back then, and different things had to take place for the kids to be um, honored and accepted into their program. Well, Anthony was my first... Um, one that um, was able to get into the program, and then Tioni followed, and then Isaiah, and it made it easier because there was also a sibling at the school at the time, so th you, it put you in a different category if, you know, uh, uh, if you had a student going there already, and then it also it had to do with their test scores and whatever the case else. So anyway, but North Park, oh my God, I love it. Um, my kids started off with Miss Marquardt. All three of them had, them had her. And she had been at North Park for, oh my God, like, oh my God. I think they said she had been with the district like 30 years or something like that. And she had been at North Park since North Park had opened. And, um, and so she was um, all three of my kids' kinderg uh, kindergarten teacher. And so throughout the, the years, you know, of course, you know, you there for uh, PTA meetings, uh, different things that I was going when I was, you know, going through the, that process. And back then I was still here, what, seven years ago? And my kids, I think Isaiah was still in elementary school. And at that time I was saying that he was at North Park Elementary School. Well, anyway, me and North Park, way back. Fast forward up this week comes on the news, breaking news. There's been a shooting, ba da dot dot 
North Park Elementary School, I'm tripping like, what? Wait a minute, what's going on? Breaking news, right? Anytime it's dealing with a school, motherfuckers are stripping like, wait a minute, what's going on in school? So, I was like, oh my God. So immediately, I had contacted my cousin. I was like, Todd, girl, um, they got this right here going on. What's going on? And so she was like, what? Because she, you know, she's, she's a nurse. And she was at work. She was like, wait a minute, hold on. What the fuck are you talking about? I was like, cousin, right now, on the news, they doing this right here in North Park. And see, her kids go to North Park right now. So she was like, okay, hold on. Let me call Jazz. I got to hang up. I'm, let me call this, this, this. I was like, okay, whatever. So we in hysterics because this is like, wait a minute. This is like North Park. So then it comes out, one st two students um, had gotten shot, one passed on, as you guys know. The other little boy, he also got shot somewhere in the abdomen chest region. He's doing fine, he's gonna make it. They show pictures of him and his family on the TV and all that stuff, they're doing quite well, thank God. Unfortunately, we did lo uh, lose a baby in this massacre, okay? This was, oh my God. Um, one of our teachers, she lost her life, and oh my God, I remember seeing this lady. Now, at North Park back in, at the time, there wasn't very many black teachers there, okay? And she was one of them, and she just had such a kind heart because for the simple fact that whenever, um, like my sister also, um, has a degree, her teaching credentials in teaching for, uh, 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 disabled, mentally and physically disabled students. So for years, that is what my sister taught in school until now, you know, she's on to case management and all this kind of stuff. And now she has her bachelor's and so she does it in a whole different realm for still, you know, uh, mentally and physically disabled uh, adults and children. So it takes a certain type of individual, a certain type of kind heart to have that type of resolve and patience to do that line of work. And every time I would see this lady, she was just so kind. Hi, how you doing? Oh, I've seen the kids. The kids are just growing up. Girl, don't these, don't these kids just grow up? And, you know, um, she was like an auntie, you know, to a lot of these kids or like a grandma to a lot of these kids. She just had such a loving soul and just her spirit was just beautiful. And so, consequently, she has lost her life. And um, her husband, at the arms of her husband. So let's talk about some abuse for a minute. Can we just talk about this for a minute? Um, I can't answer this right now. Y'all know the last time when I was doing the video and I was talking about my mom and the phone just rang. How about when the motherfucker, when I looked at my phone, the shit said no ID, no name, no number. I don't even know. We was talking about, I was talking about my mama. I was talking about my auntie fees services. And I was saying something about my mama, how my mama just checks in on me sometime. And as soon as I had mentioned something in reference to my mama, clairvoyance, telepathy, whatever you want to call it, clicked in, mama was calling. Go back to that motherfucking video and check that shit out. I'm talking about, I'm talking about my mama, how my mama be dipping in, and all of a sudden the motherfucking phone just rang out the blue. When I looked at my phone, it was no name and number. It clearly said, now mind you, on my phone, I had to get caller ID shit on my, on my shit now, okay? So... But when I looked at my motherfucking phone, it, it said no name and number. I was like, wow, okay? So anyway, and I couldn't call the shit back. It was, a, it was a wild thing that happened. So just like right now, phone ringing, I don't know. Because most people, especially um, 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 my personal calls, they have a specific ring to them, which I know when Bae's calling, when my auntie's calling, when any of my girls is calling, when my kids are calling, when Tony's calling, whatever, they have a specific ring. So I don't know what that was. I don't know. So at any rate, <clears throat> this lady met this stupid ass motherfucker. I, I can't even dignify this motherfucker with no this and that, okay? Because the nigga looks so familiar to me, you know? And I'm like, damn, I know this man from somewhere. I don't know where the fuck I know him from, but I've seen this man before some fucking where. I don't know where, you know what I'm saying? He could have been somebody Kenny knew. I don't know, because Kenny is from Riverside. So I'm like, okay, well, you know what? 
Maybe Kenny done known this motherfucker because they're around the same age anyway. I don't know. Maybe that's somebody Kenny knew. I don't know. But I've seen this man before somewhere. So this motherfucker, he just decides that since she don't want to be with me no more, I'm just not going to wait till she get off from work. I'm going to go up to North Park Elementary School, go up through the office. And now they're talking about how th this motherfucker went through like three different doors and they was locked. So he had no choice but to come in through the office. You know, because it's surveillance around the whole motherfucking campus. And see, primarily all the classes are inside. So once you inside the compound, you inside the building, it's like that. You know, so, wow. Anyway, this motherfucker goes to her classroom. And apparently she was to the uh, in the, like the back of the classroom at a desk with two students. And he just came in and... You know, shot her up, and the mo the motherfucker said that he had um a uh, a magnum, okay, and uh uh three fifty seven, and this motherfucker reloaded, okay, ten ten rounds. When I tell you, motherfuckers have been numb, okay, I have been so fucking numb, girls. I've been in a funk for the past few years really I've been outside of myself for the last few years I don't know what the fuck's going on I don't know if retrogrades is fucking me up I don't know what the shit but I've been outside of myself you know I have been outside of myself and I think it has a lot to do with a whole lot of things I have endured a whole lot of things in these past few years that you guys have not a goddamn clue about okay and it has a lot to do with abuse Okay, then I'm now I'm sharing some shit that y'all don't know a motherfucking thing about because when I come on here, um, I'm on what I'm on and that's just what it is. But on some real 100 shit, I have truly endured my share of motherfucking abusive ass motherfuckers in my life. Okay, from different ranges. Okay, different ranges of abuse. And now that I'm in a pivotal moment of my spirituality, I'm beginning to realize the things that have transpired in my life. Okay? Now, I don't want to discard this tragedy. I know we're talking about that. I know we're talking about this beautiful lady that has lost her life. But I'm just taking it into this abuse thing on how this abuse thing go and how a lot of women are living and suffering in some abusive relationships and they ain't saying nothing about these motherfuckers. They ain't, motherfuckers is like a don't ask the hotel. Motherfuckers is just living in silence. Motherfuckers is like, you know, I'm just going to pray my way through it. You know, when I get the strength one time, I'm going to just be able to duck, duck out on this motherfucker. You know, it's a lot of motherfuckers dealing with some shit right now. Okay. A lot of motherfuckers are dealing with some shit in silence and um, are ashamed. Um, a lot of women are, call, uh, are putting themselves in fault. Um, all kinds of stuff. They're wearing it on their sleeves. They're gaining a whole lot of weight. They're losing a whole lot of weight. Um, their health their, uh, is, is taking a hit. Um, it's just so many things that are going on right now. And a lot of people don't have a clue about it. Okay, and it took this tragedy for a whole lot of people to say, you know what, wait a minute, you know what, I, that could have been me. That could have been me, man. That, when I tell you that could have been me, that could have been me. That could have been me, man. That could have been me. And it's like, you know, it's just got me fucked up right now. I'm just literally numb. But I take it back years back because I have been in a funk for a long time. Now, I've been, it's been, mm, maybe four years, maybe, about three, three to four years, I've been really going through, and it's like, wow, some days, and then it takes away from my creativity, that's why I was saying also, y'all pray for me, you know, y'all keep me in y'all prayers on some real motherfucking 100 shit, okay, really. You know, but this right here, it just sparked something else in me that 
made me to come on here and to just simply get real, get real about it. You know, I've I've I've, I've seen so much death here the past year. A lot of people have lost their lives. People that I have been connected to in my past. Let me put it that way. People that have, you know, uh, been a part of my path in some way, shape, or form have died off, have done things that happened to them. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn, it makes me look at my battle scars and my wounds differently because it's like, damn, that could have been me. Man, I'm looking at. You know, so much shit has been going on, man, and it's like, man, I feel like to a degree I've been shackled, you know. I've been talked down to, and I've been also uh, made, to, made to feel like I ain't been enough, really. And I think that that is one reason why I've been constantly chasing so many different things because I have truly been feeling like I just have not been enough. I know I'm turning this video into all kinds of shit. I truly don't mean to, but it's like, man, you know, this tragedy, North Park, this week has really just had me fucked up and truly just getting real with whole, I mean, I just didn't, man. <clears throat> you know, somebody, sometimes... And I have been in silence, too. I have been in silence for a long time. And I'm just now been able to truly give a lot of my pain a voice, you know. And I had, I've had to truly, you know, share some things, some intimate things about my life here this past, these past couple of months that I don't talk about. You know what I'm saying? I haven't talked about. Um, and it's like... Uh, it's like a spiritual awakening, um, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm also, uh, I feel like I'm still growing. I feel as though I'm still coming into my own. Y'all see, I got some kind of breakout. Y'all know my skin don't break out. But I'm serious. I think a lot of shit is going on with my ass doing this retro, this retrograde right now. On some real shit, I really feel like there's some shit going on with my motherfucking ass right now that I got me tripping the fuck out. Like real, 100 shit. But, y'all, this abuse thing from the reports that they saying, let me get back on this, and I'm still going to twist it back on some more shit and my shit and some other shit and some other shit. But from what they were saying that she left him a month ago, right? She left this motherfucker. But then on his Facebook, he coming in and talking about, you know, I'm up here watching Greenleaf with my beautiful wife when... They had already put out that she had left his ass over a month ago. They had been married for three months. And according to her mama and them, they could see on our news, we getting special reports, you know, the family members, you know, saying shit. And the mama gave a statement and all kinds of stuff, okay? And this motherfucker has truly just been, I mean, in the beginning, he was this, I mean, knight in shining armor. Oh, my God, I know about that. And just the sweetest thing as ever, and this, 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 and the motherfucker just begin to turn into something else. And it's like, she married him, and then it's like, <sighs> this motherfucker begin to turn into something else. And one of my girls also met this beautiful man, and... I just feel it in her spirit. Her and I never talked. So I'm just going to be generic with it. Because a few of my girls have met some guys. So this could be about anybody. But it's just pressed upon my spirit right now to talk about it. And I know that you and I ain't talked about it. You know, because I know a lot of us live in silence about this type of thing. But I just feel as though, you know, a mama straight up. I know you feel as though you made a mistake with this thing, okay? And But it done got too far now. But coming from one that no one, baby, I know that this shit is crazy, right? Is this motherfucking shit crazy? Now, nah, I can't go the distance that you go because I'm just, I I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't go that, that, that distance. But um, I just, 
I just know that, you know, your words unspoken speak a volume. Okay, your words unspoken, your demeanor, your spirit, your whole aura, your vibration is just a little off. And I see you and I know it. Okay, I know it. And I know we ain't talked about this. But mama, you know, hey, it's, it's more about this whole thing that, you know, sometimes you got to talk to somebody. You know what I mean?